everybody. Happy Vlogmas Day 22, I believe. I kind of dabbled in the idea of, of seeing if you guys wanted me to do a QA, and a um, and I was kind of scared that I'd get like maybe one question, if that. Um, but I did it, and I got a ton of questions. So I am going to be using my phone to refer back to the questions. I know I'm in Miami, and I should be outside, but it's like gross out. It's like not sunny, so we're in my old room right now. So it's become kind of like a storage closet, so if you see like the stuff back here, don't pay any attention to it. Let's just jump right into it. I posted this picture and I said if you guys had any questions, please ask below and you guys did just that. You proved me wrong. I'm not sure how long this video will be, but I can imagine that it might be kind of long, so sorry in advance. Alright, let's just jump right into it. Mariana Dvorska, she asked, if you could choose one food to have zero calories, what would it be? You know, that's hard because... I like a lot of things, but if I could choose one thing to have zero calories A burger? No, no um, Well, I'm Dominican and uh, we have like traditional dinner is like our tradition of food is white rice chicken um, really heavy like saucy chicken and um, I'm not even sure that's a word saucy like just with a lot of sauce um, and red beans and I could eat that like it's nobody's business so probably that you know another thing about it maybe rice I wish rice did not have as many carbs as it does I guess I don't know I just love rice and I feel like when I always have my allotted amount it's like that much and I'm like can I have some more please but maybe maybe rice just so I can get a shit ton more of that. Or, um... Ice cream? No. I don't know. Can I give you top five? Ice cream, burgers, rice, um, peanut butter. Um, any kind of cookie butter. Or any kind of butter, actually. Um, meaning like cookie butter or nut butters. Um... I'm sorry, I'm the worst. Next up. Uh, Kaylin Matthews asks, have you ever struggled with feeling restricted while IIFYM? I tried it for a while, but the numbers just get to me. Any advice? So that's a really good question, uh, Kaylin Matthews. Um, yes, I have felt restricted while on macros simply because when you are trying to achieve something, for example, fat loss, or if you're competing for a show, your numbers will change. You're trying to get your body fat down. So what's going to happen is your macros are going to change. At first, they might be relatively high, but if you're competing or if you're prepping for a photo shoot or prepping for something, uh, your macros will change over time. If you know you become stagnant on those numbers, if you're not losing weight, so you might have to have lower numbers. Now, that is when I feel restricted. When I'm on maintenance mode, you know, I don't feel restricted because I do make it work for myself. If you feel restricted on your macros, but you're not really prepping for something and you're not really working towards a goal, like a ridiculously low body fat percentage, I would kind of reevaluate your macros because they might be wrong. Uh, just because, you know, you should, based on your height, I don't know who you are, I don't know how tall or your age, I don't know anything, but based on those numbers, people usually get a fair amount of food but if you do feel restricted and you are prepping for something my advice would be to kind of plan your day in advance so like if you know that you you're really craving cookie butter or peanut butter or something or something sweet um, I would plan my day around that so I would create my 20% so for, let's say for example it's like a a protein cake or something I'd make the protein cake and the topping would obviously be the cheese so then you work your way backwards so you plan the rest of your day out and you already know that you have something to look forward to at the end of the night I hope that helps next up at dazzling strong asked I know you work hard on fitting everything into your macros but what is your personal take on eating sweets and desserts I've seen you fit them in almost daily but do you ever have a cheat meal like once or twice a week thanks I do not have a cheat meal my cheat is calculated into my daily allotment of macros. Um, I do try to have something sweet every day just because I need to. I love everything sweet. Um, and it's usually right before bed. I plan out my day in the beginning of the day just so that I know that I have something to look forward to at night. Whether it be my protein waffle. And when I have something sweet, it's it's more like a protein waffle with like the toppings that would be considered the cheat. And I don't really have like 
a pint of Ben and Jerry's or like a cheesecake. I usually tend to stay in the protein baked desserts protein cake, protein waffle, protein pancakes, protein french toast just because I enjoy it and I'll just add more sweet stuff to it like cookie butter, peanut butter, a crushed one crushed oreo, goldfish, stuff like that. Really asks, what is your favorite dirty cheat meal? Like I said, I don't really have a cheat meal but I really like, I was actually talking about this with Taz the other day, I really like like foods that don't really look very good. They're just like very saucy like and like fries and meat and cheese and um more sauce and beans and i just i just like that so like a burger with like an egg on top and like mushrooms grilled onions and sauce and fries on the side and stuff like that hope that makes sense next lex snowell 23 asks how tall are you i know it's random but i always wondered also what keeps you going when you feel like giving up i am 510 and what keeps me going when I feel like giving up is, I'm gonna be 100% right now. I am one that needs to be motivated daily. I'm very emotional, so I cry a lot. So I have to be motivated daily. Um, what keeps me going from giving up is knowing the amount of times that I have given up and me having to start over again. I've always been very, 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 very close to like that breaking point when your body starts to change like permanently. Um, but something would happen and I would just get really upset and really sad and think of myself as a failure and just give up. So lately, what's kept me motivated is that. Knowing how close I've gotten to something and just not getting it and, and just giving up. Basically just throwing in the towel and I hate that feeling and I hate the feeling of starting over again and I hate the feeling of knowing how close I was and how I was so stupid and just gave up. For example, the bodybuilding.com thing, that could have been really bad. I didn't get top five. A year ago, I probably would have been like, fuck this shit, I give up, give me some food, give me everything, I'm not tracking anything ever again. But my mindset is different now because I really enjoy this. And just because I didn't get that doesn't mean that something else is not gonna happen. That doesn't mean that God doesn't have something better for me down the line. It's just propelling me for other things. That's kind of what keeps me going now. Next. Your 10K made me want to vomit. Thanks, Tish. Hey, it's Shanna Banana asked, how long have you been tracking your macros? What is your take on eating out? As in those online calculators, do you feel those are accurate? The online calculators, I do not feel are accurate. Um, I mean, I don't know really because I don't know what calculations they have behind the scenes. I just feel like I do my stuff like by hand, I, I um, calculate everything with an equation. So I don't, I, I don't wanna say no right off the bat, but um, I think it's better to work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. How long have you been tracking your macros? I've been tracking my macros, give or take, I wanna say three years. However, I wasn't as serious as I am now or consistent, I had some, things that happened I and I gave up I just didn't care to do it anymore I had some fi family issues that I had to take care of and it kind of just fell to the backside I've been tracking my macros consistently for about a year now and con this past year I've kind of been playing around with my numbers and I had a coach that put me on really low fat so now I'm kind of just working on regulating my metabolism so that I can get my body really really safe so that I can start cutting if maybe I compete in the future, who knows? My take on eating out, I think eating out is perfectly fine. I think you're gonna do uh, what you want in regards to your goals. So if you're competing and it's, that's something that's like really, really important to you, you probably won't eat out because you want to be 100% accurate in what you put in your body. You're putting so much effort in the gym and, and all this money that's going into you competing or prepping or whatever, you don't want to risk that over a restaurant meal like i said i enjoy making my own food and i could probably get more food at home than you do at a restaurant anyway so as i don't feel that there's anything wrong with eating out and counting your macros because you totally are capable of doing that i just wouldn't if you're like prepping for something or prepping for a competition or a photo shoot or whatever leanne 260 said how do you deal with days when you want to binge or overeat if you ever get those days <laughs> I was actually thinking about this the other day too because if you've seen my story video you would know that I went through these phases where I struggled. I ate very very low calories and I binged ate and but anyway I almost had one of those moments recently where I was like going for the cookie butter 
and I like grabbed it and I knew what I was gonna happen but I literally just said yummy put the cookie butter down and walk away and that's exactly what happened I did that and I've never felt so, so proud because there there have been times or instances when I know what I'm doing I I I totally take it in and I say I am about to go crazy on these Oreos or I'm about to go or I'm about to eat this entire pack of cookies or whatever it was but I would just keep doing it and I felt guilty guilty doing it and I felt disgusting at the same time and I would talk so much shit to myself I'm like you're a loser you can't do this but I wouldn't do anything about it now when those emotions come up I honestly just take a step back accept what my body wants to do what i want to do and say out loud if you need to uh you don't want to do this like this is not gonna lead to anything good put it back and i leave the kitchen stay occupied especially right after that happens for me anyway i know that i have to like if i dive deep into work i kind of forget about it i feel like when you're bored and not doing anything that's when you tend to want to eat the entire kitchen me just just talk to yourself and treat yourself as you would treat a friend like what would you tell your friend I would tell my friend at that moment that like, you don't want to do that you know you're gonna feel so bad about yourself you've worked so hard to get to where you are the emotional distress that's gonna cause you it's not worth it jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell rock a jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring snowing and blowing a bushels of fun now 